So, this is the footage from the T-Weapon demonstration? You've got guts recording secret government information right out in the open. I bet you could earn a pretty penny if you became a GNN reporter. Stop joking and take a look at it. Do you think you can extract any data from this footage? Not right away. I'll need some time. Please try. This T-Weapon and an unknown developer are the core of the government's project. I'm sure we can find all sorts of things once we start poking around. So, you think Vector is involved in this as well? But they cancelled Cosmos' development, right? Aren't they being a little roundabout? True, but the way Telos looks, I can't believe Vector isn't involved. Something we know nothing about is happening quickly. Alright, leave it to us. Also, there was something interesting in the data from the other day. Is it information about my father? No, we haven't found that yet. But we did find a keyword. Canaan. Canaan? You mean that Canaan? No, not the reality. We think it's the name of some program or system used for observation or investigation. Canaan? We don't have the details on its objective, but one thing is clear. Vector has been using this Canaan for over 100 years to search something. Can you find out some more about it? We can, but it'll cost extra. What? You're going to charge for it? <laughs> Just kidding. It may have something to do with that realium, so it's on the house. <gasps> Nephilim, what is it? Trying to protect someone does not always lead to happiness. What? Grimoire only wanted to find me, but that made a great many people suffer. With him gone, the Gnosis phenomenon should have stopped expanding, but it didn't. Xion, the Gnosis phenomenon happening now, is not caused by Lemigeton. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. Destroy the universe? Who would do that? A sad individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. He hopes for happiness of the one important to him, but that will bring suffering to many. Atonement? Important to him? Yes, for that person who is important to him. He feels it is acceptable to throw away this world. Xion, the only one who knows where we are headed, is Cosmos. The only one who can open Cosmos' heart is you. So please... Wait! Nephilim... Cosmos' heart... I knew I wouldn't be able to tell her. I know. The truth is too hard for Xion right now. If she let it pass without knowing, it would be so much easier. Learning the truth doesn't always lead to happiness. They might even be better off if they live without it. But sometimes, the truth seeks you out. I think the fact that Xion is here is telling us that. She must learn the truth. Maybe so, but it's only a matter of time before Xion's heart and body are... What if that's inevitable? My existence and yours may be an inevitable part of this world where all things flow to a certain point. If our reason for existing is that we are meant to exist... I don't think there's only a single future. A single human thought can change the world. You are the one who taught people that. What I can do is limited. I still don't even know how I should use this power. Why am I allowed to exist? Chaos. I want to believe in the existence of order born from discord. That's why I'm with them. There's nothing suspicious in the data concerning this man called Roth Mantell. I checked Vector as well, to be sure, but there was no information on him at all. I'm sure Dimitri's done that as well, but why is he placed him at the core of the project now? 
Perhaps that's just how attractive the T-Weapon system is. It's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. Yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. I also have information regarding the Elsa. In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. That's not going to happen. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. And besides, Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. You mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. Another weapon? Cosmos's tertiary weapon system. She is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Cosmos is already slated for disposal, so it's just as unlikely as your first suggestion. Is your situational analysis capability defective? How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And send her to that region of space? With all due respect, you are the one who is unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean...? Yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. You certainly don't think small, do you? I was designed specifically for such objectives. What did you say? I said to abandon it. Did you not hear my words? Pardon my words, but Omega was originally ours. How can we abandon it? Your Eminence, please order its recovery. There is no need. Then please, tell me why. I did not understand our retreat at Rennes-le-Chateau. And now this. Please, tell me your thoughts, Your Eminence. Omega has returned to its rightful master. And I have already taken measures to deal with the Zohar project. There is no need for you to interject, Chief Inquisitor. Its rightful master? Are you saying that it did not belong to us? That's the first I've heard of it. In fact, 15 years ago on Milsha, I... Know your place, Smargulus. Do you intend to let your desire overcome you and destroy your faith like Sergius? N no of course not, Your Eminence. My apologies. You sound tired, Margulis. Rest for a while. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Eminence. Margulis, everything is God's will. There is no need for concern. Do not question. Do as I say, and all will be well. All preparations are complete. Good. This spiral cobweb will capture her heart. And when it does, she will willingly wrap its threads around herself in order to find the truth. Why do humans insist on searching? The human mind holds limitless potential. If they continue to seek and search, they shall eventually become gods. That's probably what they believe. What we can do is limited. For precisely that reason, we need a world that is fitting for us. And we are the only ones who can accomplish that. Dreams, future, possibilities. She was born to put an end to these fleeting illusions. Everything follows the destined flow.
How am I supposed to explain this to the Chief? There's no way I can tell her that Cosmos has been slated for disposal. It's dangerous to get lost in thought while walking. What? Oh, uh, committee member Mizrahi. Can I do something for you? Could I speak to you for a moment, Chief Ridgely? Sure. What is it? I want you to get in touch with Xion soon. Do you know her personal contact information? Sure, that's no problem. But what's going on? They've decided to dispose of Cosmos, correct? I need to speak to her about that. I'd like you to come along as well, of course. Oh, that's right. Of course you'd know about that. Actually, I was just trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell her about Cosmos. Relax. I won't let them dispose of Cosmos. That's what we're going to talk about. Huh? I watched that footage. It's certainly astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, he's probably dirty as hell deep down. Hey, is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions. In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Well, about a week ago, a Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams Company docked at 5th Jerusalem's 47th port. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. But at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. The Dominic has a regular crew of three. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. In other words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Normally, any cargo unloaded into the container terminal, even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There was no record. Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm, it depends on the type of frame she's using, but probably around 200 kilograms. Oh. That may be the missing piece. Assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. Then Ormus is involved in Telos's development? But why would they do that? Who knows, but it's disturbingly obvious. They may be deliberately drawing attention to it to cover up something else. What's up? Hey, you guys already started! You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha. Xion, we've pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Yes, I have to know the truth. This record is in regards to the UTIC organization 15 years ago. The Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. That's the name of the government office that was observing UTIC at the time. Yes, and... The person who was appointed to Milsha as the Federation government's inspector was... Uh... I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the UTIC organization inspector. He must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. But that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. Th this sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? What kind of example is that? It, uh... I mean... It's okay, don't worry about it. I suspected it all along. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat like you said, he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. Ugh. <sighs> I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. 
I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Xion. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Oh, it's from Alan. I'll take it over here. Sh Xion! Xion! Hello. Huh? Chief, what's wrong? Xion! Chief, are you alright? Chief! <sighs> Alan? Are you alright, Chief? You scared me. You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Well, I was the closest. I see. Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. <laughs> Want something to drink? I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. Have you been pushing yourself lately? Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened today, I'm sure that's the reason. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Mizrahi. From Yuli? Yes. She says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. Oh, but tomorrow we were... Ah, it's okay. Talking with member Mizrahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plans. <laughs> We don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan, let's go out for a bit. What? Sure, if you like, that's fine with me.